morning. This is Kara Coffee of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. I really reached a place in my life where I realized everything that I'm supposed to do that is, it's not even that, it's inherent in my core that I am who I am and the why behind what I do each day. It's not something that uh, that I have paid attention to, and the reason that I have not paid attention to it is simple. You don't say, as I am forced to, that you have 50 years Christianity Protestant for me under your belt. And to be able to actually know what you're about other than making sure that that paradigm is successful. That's all you know. And for years... I literally have had people attacking me verbally close up. I've been called cruel. I have people around me that have turned on each other and are not just and are justifying themselves and why they did that. And I'm assuming sadly that there's a lot of us like this and this is what religion Protestant and Catholic religion does in the details COVID happening didn't change that happenstance in many of our lives uh, it increased fear and the ability for large corporations and those that invest in those large corporations to control us that much more. To make us feel desperate because we have to pay the bills somehow. Now, I am someone who doesn't pay bills. And that is a lesser position in the mentality of everyone, literally. I've got people who were bullying each other and exalting m money, basically, because we've got to pay the bills in my life, that have walked off of my life and that is in the Christian Catholic paradigm it's automatic particularly for women if we don't if we don't behave ourselves um, <laughs> and stay in that paradigm carefully there's going to be hell to pay and I don't, by and large, care, evidently. Um, it hasn't stopped me from being who I am just because this has happened to me. I'm going to ask my runes, my, my biggest set. Why? There is a beginning in my family with the man I birthed on my birthday where we're realizing we've got to go back to things like poetry, philosophy. And I think that's the point. But I will see what my runes say and then put it all together uh, in my particular way. The point is the paradigm of religion is not the way to build a community. It's just not. 
It requires too much. And I'm including Buddhism in that. Now. We are going to have to come up with a different paradigm of community, coexisting, which is, I'm in Austin this morning, it is, Austin, Austin is a good example of coexisting, even with those who go into the big church buildings. But when you're 50 years of that, and you left it for reasons to help your family, Curtis and I did. Um, but goodness, we did that 10, 15 years ago, 10 years ago. And, and the thing is, is the attack on one another continued. And it's, I think it's because, it's because it's hard to admit how very controlling that paradigm is, that way is. And you're automatically in a wasteland. And I just read T.S. Eliot's wasteland, The Wasteland. So perhaps that's why I can pontificate this now without too much pain. I make no mistake, though, I was in a lot of emotional pain yesterday. And it's because on Sunday, my life is completely broken. I face this every week. Wednesdays, too, are difficult for me. And I'm almost 60 years old, and I don't want to do it this way anymore. I'm tired of the pain of rejection visited upon me because I did walk out, because I am a powerful woman of intent, and that is shit upon honestly, even in my own family. It is all about career now. All about career. The pressures are so intense. And I found out something that is different between my partner and I last night. And it has to do with this. Because You have to, to, to support a family to, to do all that he does, bless his heart. You have to, you have to have, keep a competitive edge and it comes home. And I'm having to give up on a lot of relationships because that's the only way people relate is in competition. The whole population, it seems to me, is now about that and the thing is, is that the ideas of philosophy and spirituality, metaphysical ability, relationship based in that, it takes a very specific skill set. It takes time. It takes effort to establish those gatherings and to keep them going and to nurture one another. And that is where I am now, most definitely, a solitary pig. Because I need to stay away from people. Because their paradigm is skewed. And they're not going to change. And I've cried enough about this. This is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered Number.